My spark plugs look pretty good. Not all carboned up or anything. Pretty black. So it's running pretty rich. That's what this one looks like. That one's perfectly brown. Wow. That is perfect. Put that back in. We'll see if this thing runs today. Let's see if she cranks over. Turn that up a little bit. Welcome to part four on the $500 boat build. If you guys missed the last couple videos on this thing, we picked it up for $500 um, at this abandoned old house and uh, got it for pretty cheap, 500 bucks. It was completely roasted out, it was horrible. I'll leave pictures right here if you guys missed the, the previous videos. Absolutely redid everything on it. Floors, carpeting, seats, paint. Everything's upgraded. Got a new graph on it. New wheels. Painted the trailer. Um, new jack. Everything's brand new. And we took it out for the first ride a couple videos ago. And um, the engine, when we were going full throttle, uh, overheated. And I think it did at least because the beeper on the console over here, the throttle control, um, it was just beeping, a solid beep, and wouldn't turn off. And then the engine ran like crap. It was running like, it sounded like I'm one cylinder. So today, we're gonna try to figure out that problem. Um, we did get a new water pump for it. So we've got that right here. So hopefully this is the right one. I looked up the model number and everything, and this is the one that uh, lined up with the engine. So hopefully that's the right one in here, directly from Evan Rude Johnson Genuine Parts. So should be the correct one. We'll see when we tear it down today. But a couple people in the comments said that maybe it was the water pump that went and it wasn't pumping enough. Um, this thing sat for probably. 10 years at least, so those water pumps get really brittle and break apart. Um, they're right down here on the engine. So we are going to take off these four bolts down here, drop the lower unit. Before we do that, we're gonna check the compression on each cylinder, because if it did overheat, I don't want the cylinder walls and piston to be all scraped up. So.
water running. Alright, that's pretty good. Almost at 150. Let's check the next one. That one is one one thirty-three. That's still pretty good. So compression checks out. Alright, I think what we're gonna do to make things a little easier for us is take off both carburetors and then we can get down to that shaft that goes all the way down to the lower unit. Um, we need to take that off and it's a little tight in there. So I think it'll help if we take off the intake right here and then both carbs. see it down here so right down right there is where we need to get to we might be able to keep on the car but it's not that tight in there but that nut we have to take off and slide that shaft out just unhook it basically all right we were able to get that bolt out of there you guys can see better than that. See the little hole down there? And this is the bolt. You can see it's tapered. So we got that out, now we can drop the lower unit. Some bolts right here, two of them. This is 9 sixteenths. These are loosened up. There's one right in the center there. Right there.
All right, we got the lower unit out, and here is the water pump. Crack these loose. They weren't down there super tight, which is good. Should be able to come off here. Oh, the inner housing came off with it. So the inner housing is right here. Of course the water pump looks perfect. <laughs> what the heck? All rubbery still. Nice and rubbery. Now oh, this can lift up out of here. There's a key, so it's keyed in. Let's see if we can get that out. There we go. There's the key right there. O-ring. And then there's gonna be, I think it comes with a new plate like that too. We'll have to see what the kit has. But I believe this comes off of here. gasket holding that on. So we're gonna take a razor blade to scrape off all the old gasket material. We've got a kit. So hopefully we have everything we need. Here's the uh, the new plate that goes down here with the new gasket. Looks like is that for this one? Yep. There's the new gasket. Cool. We've got the inner housing here. The outer housing. And we've got all the seals. Here's the new impeller with the new O-ring. Here's the old impeller. Oh, it was getting pretty chewed up there on the bottom. That rubber was getting a little hardened up. It wasn't horrible. But, uh, yeah. You can see it was starting to crack right here, too. See the splits in the rubber there? So it's good to replace it before it fails and wrecks your engine, so. Preventative maintenance. All right, let's start getting things assembled here. We're gonna put a little gasket maker on the gasket here. Permatex Black we're using, which I believe is also waterproof. Just gonna put a little bit on each side of the gasket here. Just a very small amount.
All right, now this is going on. We cleaned out the surface already. All right, now the plate. This goes on over that. Then we have our O-ring, like that. Put a little oil on that. What's going on? Right there. Then we have our key. So it did come with a new key. See how there's a flat end and a pointy end? Pointy end goes with rotation of the shaft right here, which is clockwise. So. Pointy end faces the direction you want to go. We're gonna put some grease on that so it can stick on there. A little bit of grease. Help that to stick in place there. And then what we want to do is put our impeller on. And the face down, you can see the keyways right there. So you want it facing down that way when you put it on. And then you just want to make sure it's not going to rotate on the shaft. So spin the shaft and make sure that impeller does not move. Can't move. That's good. Now I've seen a couple different videos on YouTube where guys try to put the whole housing on. I think we're gonna do the inner housing first. So what people will recommend is putting some Dawn soap in here, rubbing it around, and that'll make that slide right onto the impeller. All right, just a couple drops of the Dawn. Spread that around. Inner housing on. And you want to spin the shaft clockwise when you've got the impellers going on. So this is going to spin like this. Don't want to break anything here. Hard to grip. There we go. I'm try to uh, spin this a couple times. Now the outer housing has a couple gaskets right here. So these you want to use 3M gasket sealer on here and uh, put those on because you don't want those coming off. So those are still drying, but those are on there pretty tight. So what we're going to do is put the O-ring right here around here and there's one that goes inside of there. Side. Right there, and the other one goes to the outside. And this one does not like to stay. <laughs> so we're gonna have to use some sort of grease to hold that on. And what you 
want is the notch right here. See the notch in there? To line up with the little notch right here. Sticking out. All right, we have both gaskets on with 3M sealant. Let's see if we can fit this up under here. All right, everything's lined up. Now we can get our bolts in. So these come with Loctite already on them. All right, now we're gonna spin the shaft a couple times just to see if that's working here. There we go, it's spinning now. install that and see if that works. All right, everything's back together. The hardest part of this job was probably getting the link rod to fit back into there, but it wasn't too bad. You just use a flathead screwdriver and maneuver it and then get that bolt back in. So that was the most time consuming part. Let's get this uh, pump tube cut off here. Forgot to do that. Alright, 
we can throw that out. <laughs> All right, so it looks like there is a leak right here. If you zoom in here. You can see moisture dripping down. I think what that does is it doesn't seal the system. So the priming bulb gets, gets uh, flat, so it doesn't hold pressure. And I think it's because of that. So we're gonna have to fix that quick. And what I'm thinking happened is we were going full throttle with it. It ran out of gas and uh, the overheating beeping sound came on. That's kind of my theory so far. So let's get a new clamp on there. The fitting is junk on there, I don't know. There we go. See it bubbling? All that gas coming out. Probably gonna spray me. I think that's loose in there. That fitting might be loose. Check the gas line for leaking. We'll put a clamp on there. Yeah, that was pretty loose. I don't know if it just rattled loose or what. This is pretty loose in there too. All right, we got the new gas line on right there. Doesn't appear to be leaking. We tighten up that fitting right there. And it doesn't look like it's leaking yet. We'll have to test it out. We'll run the boat motor for a little bit and we'll see if it's leaking anything out. Primer ball was staying tight, so that's good. We won't know until we run it for a little bit. All right, we're gonna start this up again. We're gonna look for any leaking around the hose right here or any other hose. And then we're gonna look for water coming out of here. All right, that stream is really strong now. That's looking good.
so I think it was the water pump. That is pumping a lot stronger now. Before it was just like a trickle. Now it's shooting out. So that's going to be helping it cool down a lot faster. And then no gas is leaking over here. So I think we're all good. We're going to get some new spark plugs for it. Uh, probably four of them, just in case two of them burn out when we're in the boat. So we'll keep a couple extra sets on board. But yeah, looking good so far. All right, I just noticed a slight problem. So our primer, which is right here, this is the primer solenoid. Check this out. I just saw this. Usually I'm not looking at the engine when I'm doing this. It's squirting gas everywhere. I don't know if you guys could see that or not, but we're squirting gas out of here, so I'm thinking that's broken in there. It's this whole unit right here. Um, I believe this thing can pull right out of here. That was pretty loose in there. Oh, there's a crack in it right here. See that crack? Yeah, the whole thing's cracked. How would that crack? What the heck? So that, that unit's cracked. We'll have to buy a new nozzle. It's got like a little air end to it. What I think this is for is adding things to the carburetor to maybe clean it out. You can attach cans to there and Add fluid. Huh, so that sucks. I don't know how that would happen. That just cracked right in half there. Pretty big crack. That's really strange. But this unit works by the key. So you push the key in and it activates a solenoid, which pushes fuel through here and then up into the carb. So if that's not working, you're going to have it uh, be hard starting. Alright, got some new spark plugs. So these. See if she'll fire up today. Yep, see 
Ja. Alright, so far it's not overheating or anything. Everything's running good. Let's get this on. My hat fell off in the water. I had to go back for that. <laughs> yeah, we're running good. Let's see if we can get up to speed here. Alright, still no overheating. I think we're doing pretty good.
video, George. Dogs the boat, Georgie. Georgie. Oh, yeah, Dodge. Yeah, Georgie. Oh, yeah. Work it, Georgie. Work it, work it George. Beautiful. That's a good George. It's a good Georgie. Oh, yeah, Georgie. All right, we went fast with this thing around the lake probably 15 times and absolutely zero issues. So I think that water pump was the was the issue. Either that or the spark plugs or the gas leak. <laughs> so that's good. The only thing now is the, uh, the trim up is leaking a little bit of oil. So that's not good. You can see it leaking right there. So we need to fix that. But uh, we're gonna go fishing for a little bit. Well, made it home. The only problem with the boat was the seal right here. You can see it's leaking. You can see all the oil coming out of it. So, the trim up was not working at the end of the day. So, it looks like we need a new cover for that. I think the inner seal right there is leaking. Yeah, you can see all that. It's leaking pretty good. So. It seems like you fix one problem and instantly there's another problem with the boat. <laughs> but uh, at least we got the overheating problem figured out and it's running great. So I think the engine's good. Now it's just the, the trim pump. So well, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next one. And until next time, we are out.